everybody, Wee Rabbit here, and today I'm checking out a game called Fez. Now, Fez is by no means a new game. In fact, this game came out quite a while ago. I feel like I remember playing it on like the beginning of the PS4's life cycle, and yeah, it's just come out on like every system since then. And the weird reason I'm playing it now is because uh, the Nintendo Switch had a Nintendo Indie World Showcase or whatever. And they said that the game was going to be available that same day. And so I thought to myself, I remember enjoying Fez. I remember having a good time with it. So why not revisit it on Switch? Let people take a look at it if they've never seen it before. And, you know, it seems like a good game to cover. So Fez, keep in mind, if you like it for the Switch, go ahead and check it out. But in general, you can also check it out for other systems. I know it's been ported at this point to just about everything. All right? Without further ado... Let's dive in. Alrighty. And we are in our main character's little house. But here we are. So yeah, from what I remember, like I said, I remember having a, I remember enjoying the game. I remember having a good time with it. I remember that it's just like this really fun um like 2d game that as you guys will see in a moment it gives you the ability to like mess with like dimensional planes if i remember correctly so you guys will see in a bit all right where's this say i actually missed it yeah i thought i could interact with this i remember that but whatever Alrighty. So here's the other little fellow uh, townspeople and stuff, as you can tell. Everything is very flat, very pixely. Alright, some sort of a message. It says, walk up to the mailbox. Ready? Press Y to read mail. Ah, so his name's Gomez, I guess. There we go. I didn't even remember this little guy's name being Gomez. Okay. Uh, dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is a special day, Geezer. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. It says, use the R stick to look around, press it to snap back. Yeah, so you have a pretty good camera. And you have an A to talk to villagers. I don't think they say anything too interesting. Let's check real quick. What's your favorite shape? Mine is square. Not a cube, though, that's for sure. Because there is no such thing. So what I'm telling you, so at the moment, everybody sees the world as like 2D and flat. But if I remember correctly, you get the ability to like play with uh, you get the ability to like play with like d dimensional planes, which is really fun. I love village. I live here my entire life, or my whole life. Right, well, you can actually use this to climb up, which is pretty cool. Can you talk to animals? No, unfortunately not. Okay, so this fancy guy says, You are looking nice and flat today. <laughs> Weird, but okay. Alright, made it to the top. What does Geezer want to tell us? Ha, huh, there, there are you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Today is a special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Anytime now. Just you way. There you go. Right, so something magical is happening. Yeah, so our character's like whole mind has been opened. He's like gained insight, basically. Look at that. He's being spoken to in some crazy languages, even now. Yeah, look at that. It's the language of the gods, basically. And he's seen in three dimensions, which he's like never seen before. Like, can you imagine if that happened to you? Like, you're just like out of nowhere, just gaining the ability to see like in a different dimension. That would be freaking crazy, dude. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, some more alien language. I believe people did find a way to decode it, or is it like a way to actually look at what they're telling them? I forgot. Yeah, there you go. His mind's been open. And this is where he gets his own little Fez. Which I don't know how the Fez, I don't remember how the Fez is connected to his power, but he just gains a little Fez, because why not, right? <laughs> Alright, there you go. It says use ZL and ZR to change your perspective. So yeah, there we go, see? Everything's glitching out though. Yeah. It's a pretty cool presentation, right? I think it's like the computer's back, the computer's like booting back up and stuff. Yeah, so you guys probably didn't see it maybe because of, you know, I started the game like at the title screen or whatever. But this is what it looks like when you first start the game, minus the glitchiness. So it's kind of cool to make you think the game like broke or something and start all over. So yeah, we're going to go back in. The difference is, remember how it started in his room and it was just flat? Well, this time... I'm zooming in on his room. But, notice he has the hat already. And... Oh, there we go, we can see the different dimensions. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. That's how it's different, huh? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, see, so we can see he's like on the shelf and stuff. That's pretty cool, right? We can see the drum set now. We can actually go behind it and stuff. All right, exit the room. Yeah, see how you remember how before it just kind of like scanned through the land. Everything was flat. Now it's showing us that everything is like three dimensional. Which I think is really cool. So this game, man, I, I'm surprised it took so long to come to the Switch because it's like a, you know, it's like a no-brainer. But it, it's really cool. It's like really crazy how it plays with the perspective. It's really unique and stuff. So it says Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The hexa, the hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered, and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This story leads to the outside world, but for now, is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, we must leave this place. So right off the bat, they just tell you what you what, what you need to do. Like right off the bat. Uh, there are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I like how right off the bat, I mean they tell you what your journey is and stuff. They split off for you, which is kinda cool. Uh, so quick recap, shiny golden cubes, very important. Gotta find them all, or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember, use ZLZR to change your perspective. Set that backwards, whatever. Now get going. Alright, let's restart the game. We start collecting stuff. And look at that. There are now more dimensions to explore. That's pretty cool. So let's go down here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can't I you can't fall. Or he'll like, get hurt. Yeah, now it's up to you to explore all these areas that you didn't have access to before. You have to be careful because yeah, as you shift, sometimes the way like the dimensions work and stuff shifts, so. Okay. Can we go in people's houses? Yes, because I think you have to explore people's houses and stuff too, if I remember correctly. 
Alright. There we go. So this is A. It shows a chest. So open it, face it from the front, and press Y. Yeah, it is a little like Zelda thing, which is pretty cool. Oh, so we got a key. I remember needing a, I see a key earlier somewhere. Keyhole. You have found a key. Keys can open any locked door, but can only be used once. All right. Let's see anything else in this room? Oh, what is that? I think it's giving us a hint to where the key needs to be used. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so yeah, the keyhole is up there. Let's we'll find a way up there first, though. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, some sort of a map. All right, it says you have found a treasure map. A map of what to where? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Alrighty. Let's see anything else in here. Oh yeah, there's like definitely all sorts of like little uh, schematics and stuff, but I don't remember what they are though. Okay, let's see. Where is our map? How do we use our map box? I don't remember. There we go. No, let's see. Map, map, map. I actually don't remember how to use the map, awkwardly enough. But oh well, we'll, we'll probably, it'll tell us at some point and we'll figure it out. For now, it's just about exploring somewhere. Right, so there's obviously something here. Hold on, there's obviously something here. Is this just some sort of hole? Hmm. I honestly don't remember what we're supposed to do with that. It's been a long time since I played this game, so I don't remember everything, unfortunately. Let's see, go in this house. All right, oh, there's old man. It's been so, it's been so long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus there's the eye thing. Okay. I was just walking around. Okay. Oh, hold on, there's something here. Oh, there's a camera. Yeah, see, like, it seems to give you hints, I think, of where stuff's at. I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm not too sure. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. I think there's supposed to be hints like, all over the world, but I don't remember. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a cube right there. Perfect. Alright, another one right here. So yeah, if I remember, the first level is just a lot of like digging around, investigating everything, see what you can see. It gets more complex along the way, of course. Alright, that's it for this room. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Okay. Alright, let's go to this treasure chest. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I keep dropping my character. Oh, hold on. There's a cube right here. Perfect. That's how you do it. There we go. Perfect. 
Yeah, I know how to I know how to open it. Alrighty, what do we got? Another key. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn it so I don't die. Like that. Okay, let's see. It was really pretty, but don't do it again. Okay, did I go in here yet? I think I did, right? Let's see. No, did not. Perfect. Right, getting there. There's one at the very top. There we go. See, you have to like, play with the dimensions. This looks so weird. Alright, I believe I need what? Like two more, three more? Yeah, I can't do anything with the mailbox. Try to see what directions I haven't investigated yet. Yeah, I think those are hints. I guess I already did this room. See, I think I visited just about everything, right? Nope, never mind. I'm way off. Can it be a new direction? Whoa! Wow, I can't believe it took me forever to realize that that door was closed because I had never been in that room before. That was pathetic. But I got my 8th cube finally. <laughs> God, it took forever. <laughs> this was either the tutorial level too, that is sad. Alright, I got it though, I got it. I get down, Gomez. Alright, hold on, he's celebrating, he's celebrating. That might his moment. Alright, get down, Gomez. Gomez, get down. Get down. There we go. Alright, cool. Finally got my cube. My cube of cubes. Hey, okay, he says, you did it! Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. Yeah, it took me forever because this door was closed. And for some, for some reason, oh my god. For some reason, I never noticed that, hey, if it's closed, that means you haven't explored there yet. So I was, I was confused about where I need to explore. Because I knew I need like one more like door, you know what I mean? So that was silly. Let's see, I need this, I can get down. If you jump too far, he dies. There we go. Alrighty, perfect. It says the door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? All right, so that's the tutorial, which I <laughs> did really bad at. Uh, so say, hey, listen, I know that this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press minus to bring up the world map. Oh, crap. I was like about to press it. There we go, I was gonna say, I'm not supposed to be like a world map, there it is. So, there's treasures, locked doors, cubes, bits, secrets, small gates, and warp gates. So, yeah, the world is huge, as you can see. And it's just showing how you can use it to zoom in and out, each of those things. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so let's proceed. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Ah, I fell. Done. Let's see, how do we get up there? Oh, I know. Like that. And like that. Ah, I was hoping to grab the edge. 
I was really hoping he'd grab the ledge, but he didn't. There we go, there's that. Perfect. See, this level was way easier, it wasn't all exploration. But as you can tell, there's just so much um, you have to do, though, to like, move the camera back and forth. Alright, there we go. And then it should be open right here. Perfect. Yeah, if I remember, there's all sorts, supposed to be all sorts of like secrets in every level, too. Which is like, really gets really crazy, you know what I mean? It says, whoa, check this place out. Feels pretty important, huh? Let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, no way. It's in our door. I told you there would be a lot of doors. This one requires four cubes. This one, eight. And this one, sixteen. This place, it looks like some kind of point. Door, place. Oh, I don't know. That's why you're here. Now go find them cubes. And so far, I have two. So... Oh, and one more thing. If you press X, you'll bring up the inventory. The inventory keeps track of the things you can find. Now, okay, now I'm done, I swear. I'm just trying to turn the camera every direction, see if I can find anything. Oh, wait, this is, this is new, isn't it? Yeah, it's new. Okay, I found something, perfect. Alright, I believe we found a different level. See, there's a little thing again. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, there's some, some, some teleportation. I'm way over here now. Hold on, there's a ladder. Where does the ladder take us? Let's see... I made it to here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. But now there's a road. That's a key. Oh wait, we still have a key, don't we? Hold on. Yeah, we still have a key. Perfect. Alright, treasure chest. And there's a cube right there, perfect. Another treasure map. Alright, cool. There we go, we got a cube. Well, that should be it for here. Actually, hold on. There's another door over here. Where does this lead? Yo, okay, this is trippy. I don't remember giving that trippy. Now we're like just like outside again. Alright, that's moving me back and forth. Stay on the path. Is there one that connects all of them? Uh... There we go. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, an RQ. Perfect. Alright, how do we get down? Come on, get down. There we go. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we're at the top of the lighthouse now, cool. 
As I see, there's a lot of teleportation back and forth and all sorts of crazy stuff, so. There's a cube down here. Right, let's go up here. Doors to go through. No. What's this? Nothing yet. Okay. Oh, crap. Alright, that should teleport us back to that other part we were on. So yeah, it's just a lot of teleportation and trippiness and oh man, all sorts of back and forth. Alright, new door. Oh, it keeps teleporting me away. Oh boy. Let's see. Hold on, is there some sort of trick here? I want to go through that doorway. Hold on, where's that doorway? Ah, there's a doorway there. Yeah, I can't go through that doorway, unfortunately. Hmm. I guess I'm sort of bomb. Check this out. It's a bomb. You can pick up and throw bombs by pressing Y. Just be careful. You can also drop a bomb gently by pressing down and Y. I want to throw it right there. There we go. There we go, perfect. That's what I was trying to do. Alright, awesome. Oh, oh my god, there's just so much. If, yeah, if, if I remember correctly, this is what kind of annoyed me. That there's just like layers upon layers. Like, I feel like you never get to explore like a whole level before you're already like at the next part of another level. You know what I mean? I do remember that being kind of something that annoyed me a bit, I think. Where would I even use a bomb here? Like, wait. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally lost. Oh, um, oh man, there's just like so much to do, dude. Oh, that's where I would go. Okay, hold on. Let me just let me try to do that real quick. Ah, uh, wrong button. Ah, stop throwing the wrong button. All right, whatever. I did it. Oh, that is it to the top again. Did that not do anything? That was weird. Huh. Yeah, that weirdly enough did not seem to lead to anything. <laughs> oh god, alrighty. I think my brain's fried at the moment. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. That is a pretty good look at Fez. Uh, as you can see, Fez is a very creative game, very unique. The way they play with the whole dimensions thing is very, 
out there, you know what I mean? It's very, like, you a lot of thought was put into it, a lot of love and care, and it is an interesting little game, you know? It is fun to play. Definitely, when you figure something out, you feel really accomplished, that sort of thing. As you can see, though, near the end, the only thing that I don't like about the game, that now thinking about it, I do remember having some burnout when I was playing it, you know, back on the PS4 when it first came out, is that it's so... I, I feel like you don't really stay in a level, if that makes sense. Like, you're trying to chase after finding things in a level, but you'll run into, like, a portal that will then lead you into another portal, which will then lead you into another portal, and you're just, like, so many dimensions in, so many layers deep, that you kind of lost track of where you started, you know what I mean? So that's what kind of feels, like, really overwhelming. Um, so yeah, that's, like, the one thing I would say is kind of, like, eh about it, that it just feels very, like... Not that it's a bad thing, but the puzzles kind of feel a little bit too difficult. It almost feels like the kind of thing that you would maybe need to have like a, a, a walkthrough or something open so you know where to go. Because yeah, if not, I feel like it's very easy to get really lost. Like I said, like you're in like a, like maybe that lighthouse level. And okay, you're trying to find all the little cubes in that level. But oh wait, you went through a door, which led to another door, which led to a portal, which led you to like a different area. And you barely even take like, a step there into like a different area. It's just like, you know, you saw how I was lost near the end. Just so many layers deep. That's the one part I would say is kind of annoying about the game. But besides that, though, if you like puzzle games, platformers, if you like things that make you think and make you have to like really change the environment and mess with dimensions and stuff, I think you'll enjoy this. It is a classic at this point. I know that, like I said, I'm surprised it took this long to get to the Switch because it's that well known and the game is that like critically acclaimed. But uh, there you have it, guys. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Like I said, you can get either check this game out on the Switch. It just hit the Nintendo eShop. Or you can try it out on all, uh, all sorts of other systems because I think all the other systems have had this game for years now. Uh, so there you have it, guys. My name is Wee Rabbit. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.